Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Um, for those who are new to the channel, I am a clairvoyant psychic medium first and foremost. Um, but I am doing tarot readings for my YouTube channel, as you see. Uh, but if you would like to get a personal reading, if any of this is resonating with you, um, um, and you want to book a personal, just know that personal readings are not used with cards. I use nothing but my vision. Um, and yeah, and it's a lot more details that come through than just the cards. So that's why I like to do it that way anyway. But I am providing tarot readings for my YouTube channel for entertainment pur purposes only. But it do resonate with a lot of you. Um, due to your current situation, future, or even your past. So just take it however it resonates for you. Don't force anything to fit. Um, and also you can tune in on live readings to get a question answered. Uh, I do live readings for um, Q&As, and you can see me in action there where I don't use any cards as well. Um, thank you to all new subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you, um, all past subscribers, all my members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and thank you for your patience as well. <laughs> um, I know I've been in my A for this past week for y'all weekly, so whatnot, but sometimes I have to pull away um, for my own personal reasons. And yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do Earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn in that order. So Taurus. And also though, for those who are new, you can look into past um, live readings. Also, you can look into reviews. That is located in Facebook. You can look into... Uh, past live readings in Facebook, anything like that, um, just to see the proof, the truth and the accuracy. I am a real psychic medium, okay? It's a, it's a lot of people that's claiming to be that, and it's not, it's not, everyone is not, okay? So don't get fooled. So that's why I have a lot of um, information out there so you can see for yourself as well. Um, don't get me wrong, it is still, you know, it's real psychic mediums, but it's a lot of phonies. So, yeah, I'll be careful. All right, so Taurus, let's get started. Taurus, better please show us a message for Taurus. Sorry for the long intro. It's, I guess it's been a minute. Spirit need me to talk and tell y'all that. <laughs> I don't know. It normally is it's quick and straightforward with my um, normal spiel. They had me switch it up this week, I guess. <laughs> All right, so Taurus, please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, there, please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? And what else there for Taurus? Okay, quite a bit. I see, I see. All right, so we have mature woman. It seems like mature woman kind of wanted to come out in reverse. So I don't know. This mature woman could be a little skeptical here. Maybe they could be older, but they have some immature ways. This could be a mother figure, whether it's your mother or a mother, someone's mother in your energy. Maybe someone you're dating, maybe a friend, maybe someone is going through this. Okay. But we have official person, thief, and despair. So they could, this could be why, like, okay, so someone may feel like someone is being immature about this situation. Possibly this mature woman. I understand, Spirit. Thank you so much. So, and this is someone that you can't trust. It could bring you to despair. Like, dang, you were really do me like that you you really shady like I, I trusted in you or I believed in you okay um someone's birthday could be June 22nd June 24th someone could be age 32 or someone's birthday could be on the 24th the 22nd or the 6th um someone could be 32 or 23 as well um so 23 20 okay 22 23 24 those 
numbers could be significant, whether dates, special day, birthday, um, any or if it's a special number, okay. All right, so someone could have lost a job because they were being a thief, okay, so they could have been caught. Official person, maybe someone could be arriving at someone's job due to this. Uh, this could be like the cops or someone um, set someone up. I feel like someone set someone up too to fail, to, to lose something. Um, someone could be having a hard time with gaining a new job or, you know, getting hired somewhere else. Um, someone could be like military form. Like, um, I don't know, they shouldn't like these military boots I'm, I'm seeing. So maybe someone could have been in the military. Someone could be um, very heavy in alcohol or drink a lot. All right. Or someone just like boots. Okay. They just wear boots, whoever this is. I'm also getting like um, someone's ancestor's grandfather or some sort or uncle, um, an older gentleman who wear like hats or like a top hat. That could be significant for someone. Um, this could be someone that's trying to assist you in this thievery. Someone who was trying to steal from you. This person is watching over this and seeing everything that they're doing. Um, uh, they're trying to heal you or get you out of this situation um, or stop dealing with this particular person. Now, if this is you, this is something that you need to do, you need to get out of or remove yourself from. Maybe it's this uh, mature woman that you may have confided in or felt like you can trust, but you're finding out that this is someone that you should not trust. This could be a mother-son situation, mother-daughter situation as well, or this could be... Um, just an older feminine energy okay it could be a male but i'm getting more of a female okay um someone may have to get the cops or the law involved due to the situation it could be finances involved here like someone have to pay someone someone is uh, have to owe someone it, this could be government wise this could be through the courts maybe this is child support and this person may feel like you're stealing from them but they actually owe you this um, someone may have a dog as well, and someone could be mourning over a loss because maybe this dog and this person is homeless, or someone could be thinking about not having, not having enough, and they may be homeless, or um, thinking about like, dang, I may have to, um, I may have to downgrade, I may have to downsize in order to live because maybe due to the decrease finance financially. Um, someone could be in the military as well or was in the military, whether this is deceased to someone on the other side or this could be someone currently that's in your energy. Um, hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone is feeling like you're just taking everything, you're ripping them apart, like you're taking everything from them or this is how you feel about someone, okay? Show us more for Taurus. Taurus. It's like maybe it's like someone may feel like you're not hearing them out. It's like someone wants you to hear them. I'm getting this, y'all. Like someone is wanting you to listen to them. Like, please just hear me out. It's like, you know, once they got to this point of losing you or like completely like they feel like they completely lost you it's like please just hear me out hear what i have to say let me fix this because now they're feeling like you're like you're taking everything away from them so if this isn't financially this could be like a loss due to just your energy not being around them anymore not giving to them not catering to them um energetically now for some of you this could be material wise a lot of you this is material someone could be losing a lot of material a lot of finances um someone could be like in some type of corporate uh or someone is in engineer engineering i'm hearing as well um someone could be like a line or in a line okay a line so like like a line leader or something pertaining to like a line so someone could be could work like in a um, factory or something like that yeah and it looked like someone um could be either placed in a lower position or fired, one or the other. Um, and someone felt like someone stole their spots, took from them. <sighs> Let 
Now, this could also be like stole someone's spot due to a connection, due to a relationship, a friendship, or a romantic relationship. So this could be romantic as well. Um, like someone just stole their spot. That's what I'm getting as well. Or some someone could be in despair, thinking like, okay, um, they're they're not dealing with me, so someone is going to take my spot eventually. So they could be like, you know, feeling real down and out about that. Dang. Okay, Taurus spirit. <laughs> what else? All right, date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan and set a date. All right, so yeah, like I was saying, like they know that you're going to move on or you're moving on to someone else. So this person could feel like a, a, a total loss because of this, because you are moving on and you're dating someone new, like whoever this mature woman or it could be mature man, but whoever this person is um, that was pretty much no good for you. And they're just in a loss, okay? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, exactly. The energy that I was picking up here. Um, So, yeah, someone is deciding, look, I'm just going to get back out there, start new, start fresh. And someone is heartbroken over this. Um, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. So you may have changed your mind. Um, you evolved. You have moved on from this situation. And this is really uh, breaking this person's heart. Like, I feel like this person is like, damn, they really over me. They're done with me. They're not giving me another chance. They're not taking none of my bull. No more. So this could be that situation as well. Someone just, someone is, uh, I'm getting a relationship situation issue for someone, but then also a job. So someone could be, or just their finances decreasing, whether they have to give to you or they have to give to another something or due to a a, 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 a decrease in their, their current job, maybe they're um, demoted. I don't know, but it's definitely not promoted. Not this, not this energy. All right, so let's see more. Spirit, show us more on this energy for Taurus. What else do you want them to know? What else do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What else do you want Taurus to know, Spirit? Taurus energy, Taurus energy. What else, Bear? Please show us. What else do you want Taurus to know? What else? All right. So they're saying plan, get out there. Exactly. This is the energy here. So they're saying the plan, get out there. You have many choices. You have a decision to make. Uh, for some of you, this is involving traveling. Like, you need to get out there, travel, get around. Like, rather, this is not, this don't necessarily have to be like travel the world. But for some of you, yes. But for some of you, this is like travel, like get in a car, go somewhere else. Why are you just at home or something? Like, how are you going to get into this new love connection if you're just sitting still? I mean, unless you're just doing online dating. But I'm not seeing an online dating here. It's like you want to meet this person or you know of this person and you need to make plans to come together, meet up come together okay make a plan for this date queen of cups and the king of pentacles some of you could be dealing with a cancer or a taurus or taurus this is your energy or any earth sign or water sign pisces cancer scorpio taurus virgo capricorn okay um we also have aries energy and then scorpio energy so yeah it's time for you to to make up your mind choose a choose this new journey okay you have you have um it's like they're giving you this opportunity for this new beginning. They're giving you this new beginning in love, a new um, chance in love. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a water sign, but it looks like you may get overwhelmed due to this new beginning. Let's get more on this energy. Show us more with the Seven of Cups for Taurus. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups for Taurus. Seven of Cups for Taurus. Seven of Cups for Taurus, Spirit. Please show us. Seven of Cups for Taurus. All right. 
Seven of Cups for Taurus, please show us. What is it? Seven of Cups for Taurus. Seven of Cups is clarified with the Nine of Wands in reverse. So let your guards down. Exactly. Because you, it's like this is why it's making it hard for you to make a, de a decision about something. Maybe you, this decision could be where to go. Maybe you have someone in mind that you want because the person is here. So whether you know this person now or the person is i mean you know it's always destined to come together with someone whether you know this person or not but they're in your energy it's like it's time to go ahead and come forward or get out there okay so they're saying to let your guards down with the nine of wands in reverse on the seven of cups because it's just confusing you keeping you an illusion like it's just you know keeping you in a stalemate energy they're saying no get out there meeting someone new dating get back out there Plan, set a date, okay? Show us more with the three of wands. I feel like someone could be still holding on to the past hurt. So you could be still going through this healing process. That's why when you get back out there, you know, um, it's going to take your mind for you from that and then help you understand why this needed to end like this. However, this ended for you. Show us more with the three of wands. Not saying, oh, just jump into a relationship right now. They're saying, like, no, just go out there, have fun, enjoy. And eventually you will because it's someone meant for you, okay? Strength. They're telling you to be strong about this, all right? Have strength due to this whole situation. Continue to uh, have the strength and courage to move forward. Show us more with the King of Pentacles for Taurus. King of Pentacles is clarified with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like, Taurus, this is you. You're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe, okay. So for some of you, you could have plenty of options or many people that is wanting your attention, wanting um, or wanting to date you, okay? Or as many people that you're interested in. And then you could feel overwhelmed due to this. Like you get overwhelmed due to a connection. But they're saying, like, get out there. It's okay. It's okay for you to get to know new people. Um, don't look at every person as the person that broke your heart tremendously. All right. Everyone is not out to get you. Everyone is not out to hurt you clearly with the nine of wands in reverse. Um, but you're holding on to a lot of baggage. So, or is this on your energy on the king of pentacles? It's time to wrap that up. They're saying show us more with the queen of cups. Queen of cups. Cups, clarify with the Four of Wands. This may be someone that you're going to marry. Um, it could be a Cancer um, or someone with Cancer placements, okay? Maybe you have Cancer placements. And maybe you're coming into connection with another Earth sign. But um, they could have Aries placements or Leo placements as well. Or you do. But whoever this is, it looks like this is a commitment. Someone you're going to commit to or they're wanting to commit to you. It's a marriage. I'm seeing a marriage, whether this is a contract or this is a marriage agreement, a, a, a promise that you make to each other. Okay, it do look like you're going to live together as well. Or you may already live, you may start it. If you already started this process, good. This is your justice, judgment, a renewal. Some of you could end up coming together, having a child, a baby. This may have already happened. For some of you, this is happening or it's about to happen, okay? But justice have been served. You deserve to have this renewal in love, in life. You deserve to have another chance at what you dreamed of having before prior with this person that is in despair. This person that has possibly thought, you thought, you know, your love life was ruined for good. But that's not the case. You know, this was something that you had to go through. It was a lesson for you. Something that you needed to learn out of this as well. Not just, you know, the person that have done all the wrong yeah, they done a, a, a lot of wrong, but there was also some wrong in your situation as well due to you. Maybe this had to help you, um, you know, grow with certain aspects of your life or had you open, maybe open your eyes to, you know, certain individuals and not place everyone on a pedestal because due to this situation now that that's how you end up getting really hurt, right? When you place them very, very high without just placing them like as a person. They're a person. Everyone. Okay. There's no one perfect. We're just, I mean, we just want to say that. There is no one that is perfect, period. So that situation that you went through, whatever this is, because it, it was, it brought tremendous hurt. Okay. It brought a lot of hurt to you. Okay. And it made you feel disgusted 
due to new love or having another opportunity in love or made you feel like I'm not, I don't want to commit because if I, I committed to that person and they hurt me like that, I'm never committing again. Or for some, it's just, you know, not wanting to open up completely because of the past hurt. So you're just going to have to, like they said, let your guards down and allow this new transformation to come in to see a love life. Um, and that person is going through their karma. Okay. Um, it's not a laughing matter. It's just like, Hey, you know, you, you reap what you sow and that's what's happening. And you move on with your life. And that could be their karma. Just watching you move on. All right, move on and be happy because this looks like a, a, a good connection that you're coming into. And that's why justice is being served. That's why justice is here. Okay, your abundance is coming back in. Like there's a lot of good things that's coming in, but they need you to be more open, open to love. Some of you, it could be a Gemini. Some of you could be cuffs, Gemini. Um, You could be on the cuffs with Gemini Taurus. Yeah. Also, someone could be going to jail due to finances, due to their job or whatever. That's that's someone's situation, not everyone. I want to end y'all message with another another message. But it looked like your your <laughs> your entire message at this time, spirit is telling you to open up, allow love in into your heart, real love, allow it in. Don't give up on love just because of a bad seed, because of a bad situation that you have went through. Just understand that that bad situation just brought you into strength. It just brought you into strength. Help, it helped you grow and become more stronger. Imagine going through life and everything easy. Easy love, easy job, easy this. How can you be a strong individual? You have to go through a lot of bad situations in order to heal and grow, right? So you just look at it as that, just as that. Show us a message for Taurus. 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 Taurus, we have a never ending story. All right, so I feel like it's time to get your mind off of old thinking, the old ways of thinking possibly due to your love life. It could be pertaining just to your love life, okay? Outdated thinking, that's what I'm feeling here, okay? But we have a never-ending story. I feel like put this never-ending story into a story. Some of you are writers, okay? Some of you are thinking about writing. Some of you are wanting to be a writer. Some of you are wanting your story to be heard, well, let it be heard. Put it in writing. You have a never-ending story. Spirit is saying there's so much that you can put into books. And, and it could be books versus one. It could be several stories because it's never-ending. So these things that you're going through in life, these trials and tribulations, is just building on your stories. All right? Some of you, if you're not into like writing, not thinking about, okay, I don't want to be a writer, but it's something that needs to be heard, whether this is um, communicate some form of communication, okay? This could be a podcast, okay? This could be some form of that, you know? This could be YouTube, um, but you have a never-ending story, and they're saying like instead of just holding all that in, put it out there, right? All right, and then we have by the book. Wow, by the book. <laughs> this is so funny. So I feel like here with with this, especially with the never ending. <laughs> that's just so funny. I'm still laughing at the book. All right, because we're just talking about writing, right? But by the book. Also, I'm getting like by the book. Like others will be buying your book, okay? As in that. But this is by the book, like by the code. All right, going by the code. Okay, so this could be like, this is you. You want to abide by the rules. You want, and this is pertaining to your love life. Like, okay, um, you should not uh, lie, steal, cheat on me because I'm going by the code. I'm going by the book with you. So I need that in return. I need you to reciprocate my energy. So this is what they're saying. Like, 
this is how I feel like in this particular message, but this could be many different messages, but I'm listening to spirit. And this is what they're providing for you. So by the book, this is what you're wanting. And it's like, until I get that, I can't be that anymore because I don't want to be hurt again and again and again. But it looked like spirit is like, okay, your justice is here. Your justice is here. We hear you. We hear you, okay? So you're going to get what you want, that nurturing, that real love, that love that you desire, that committal love, that 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 commitment where you can turn your back and, 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 and trust this person is not going to stab you. They're actually going to watch over you and make sure no one else is coming towards your back, right? So this is what you're wanting, this is what you're desiring, and this is what you're getting. So they need you to understand that and let down your guards. This ending is approaching, but you got to understand you have, you're the, you're, you're in charge. So you need to understand, okay, this is ending. So let me allow this new beginning. All right. That's all I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this message, receive some type of clarity, understanding to your situation. Um, and definitely check out your other signs, you guys, your moon, your rising, your beings. I I promise you there's other messages it's always other messages okay so look into your other signs that you, uh there will be some type of resonation okay so definitely look uh if you have no idea of how to find your signs all that information is listed in the description of this video 2552 um so yeah look in the description of this video um to find your natal chart go ahead all you need is your date of time, I mean, your time of birth. If you had the time of birth, then you're good. I'm pretty sure you know everything else. It's your name, your first and last name, where you were born, things like that. But definitely, definitely always look into your other signs because sometimes your sun sign may not resonate as much as your moon at that time. But sometimes your sun may resonate more than your moon. So, or your rising or your Venus, okay? So definitely take a look, especially your Venus because your message is mainly about love yeah all right you guys until next time many blessings moving on to virgo also taurus i forgot to mention the numbers 11 and 37 so the number 11 maybe someone's birthday could be may 11 or um or someone in this energy that you're dealing with birthday could be on the 11th or the 11th month, November could be very significant for someone as well. 37, someone could be age 37. Um, yeah, or the number 10 could be significant for someone. But I'm also getting like, is this, this that transformation that you're going through in love, okay? With that 10. But that is it, Taurus. Thank you. Hey, Virgo. Thank you for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonate and leave whatever don't. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Hold on one second. Okay, Virgo. Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. Someone rising Venus, please show us a message for Virgo. North Node as well. Please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Message coming out. We have a false person here. Someone is not being true around you. Their name could either start with an S, an N, an M, or a C. Show us a message for Virgo. It could be a master, a male. Okay. Someone's birthday could be on the first or the eighth. Okay. Whether you or this person, but someone is not being true here. Um, it could be a female and a male, or this female may know about something, or you could be the female here, Virgo. And it's a female, it could be two feminine, I mean, mm, for some of you, it could be two feminine energies, but it could be two individuals, a male and a female, that's being false around you. Someone's birthday could be in August, so someone could be either Leo or you're Virgo. Virgo, you're, you could be, um, your birthday could be in August. Someone's birthday could be August 14th, August 13th, August 1st, August 5th, I'm getting. Um, um, someone's birthday could be August 30th, so that's a Virgo energy. The other signs, I mean, the other dates was uh, Leo energy. Someone's birthday could be January 8th or January 14th as well. 
So that's Capricorn. Um, or these dates could be significant for someone in other ways. So 1, 8, 14, 5, 3, or 30. Hmm. All right, there could be some type of court situation going on with adjudication here. Someone could be receiving a message of concern about this. There could be a female receiving a message about this. Someone name start with a C or someone nickname could be CC as well, I'm hearing. I'm actually literally hearing CC. Hmm. Yeah, it's like it could have been a feminine and a male that was playing this male all along. And the female could be receiving news about this. Or you're the female that's receiving the news about this main male that was involved in this false situation. Like someone was trying to betray you, come over, get okay, they were trying to come over to betray you. Or there was some some type some form of betrayment betrayal in a family dynamic, uh, place in a family, okay. So someone could be receiving some disturbing news, okay? This could be about court, um, or this could be like someone coming to you telling you about their court situation. But let's get more on this message, Spirit. 3037. All right, show us the message for Virgo. Virgo. It's like, maybe you feel like this female was being false they were dealing with this male all along or this is how someone is viewing you if you have me going started dating someone else they view you as false like you've been dealing with this person all along or something like that but i'm seeing a separation like um maybe there was a separation between you and someone and now you're enemies or you're against each other or something all right show us a message here for virgo It's like two people or a connection or used to be connection. It's like both are wearing a mask towards each other or it's like, or this is how someone is viewing it. It's like you don't trust them. They don't trust you. Like something like that could be going on. Show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. But I'm seeing this female receive some disturbing news. Maybe it's from the courts. Show us a message for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, we have abundance and addiction. Such a contradiction. Okay. <laughs> All right, but no, I'm getting also like, okay. So with abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Um, gratitude, bliss, right? And then we have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Has a block, restraint. So it's like, do not cause a blockage to your abundance due to wanting to control the outcome of a situation wanting it to go how you want it to go they're saying basically to let go and go with the flow of things so you can receive this abundance and keep a positive mindset on it like okay i will receive what it is that i that i want i will receive that a certain amount of money whether it's through this or any other way However you want to give it to me, spirit, you know, like, but you have to be positive about it. Okay. That card was like, I'm ready. All right. We have sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent working on it. All right. Hammer. I feel like the hammer and the nail need to be put on this addiction, like addicted to having something forcefully go your way or wanting something to go like you want the outcome to be like this. Like, I put the work to this, so it should come out like this. But what if it's meant to come out like that? So you got to just go with the flow they're wanting you to know. All right, we have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So this could be you. That could be the energy that I was picking up prior, or this could be the other person. Maybe you have healed or you're currently healing through this process of this breakup. But I feel like it's two false masks here. Like, um, I'm, not, I'm not even going to say false masks. I just feel like it's a trust issue between you and this person because they backstab you. They feel like you backstab them. And it's like, I, I can't trust you. You don't trust them. It's like a wedge in between two. Um, and it's all due to heartbreak. Someone is deeply hurt. But they're saying put a hammer on this. It's time to uh, put this to rest because it's just hindering your abundance. 
this addiction, this obsession over this, like thoughts of what happened, thoughts of this person, what they're trying to do next. Should I sabotage them before they try to sabotage me? If you're focusing on you, you don't even have to worry about that. If you're focusing on you, that's all that matters. That's where people go wrong. It's too much, too much going on in this world about the other person. Like if you, if everyone focus on themselves, you know, not in a selfish, you know, in a selfish way, but you know, sometimes you have to be selfish though, in order for you to grow, in order for you to heal. But, um, I feel like, I don't know, someone could be too focused on the other person because they, it's like always looking over your shoulder. Oh, what they're doing, what they're going to do next. So either this is how you're feeling or this is how they're feeling about you. But I do see two individuals here in this message. Okay. So I feel like it's a feminine and a male. Like the female is feeling like, uh, yeah, they can't trust you. You can't trust them. But it could be like this feminine. Uh, no, they both wearing a mask. She's covering her mouth. He's covering his eyes. So I feel like someone, um, someone could have been a talker or said some things and the other person could have been a watcher. Someone's seen some things. I don't know. Y'all tell me, but let's get more into this message. So... Let's do that. All right, Spirit, please show us more for Virgo energy. Show us more on this message, Spirit. So either, um, like, I feel like someone could have been addicted to sabotaging you. Or this is how you are to someone, to, towards someone. Okay, please place it however it belongs and be realistic about it. Okay, you grow and you learn. If you were the one in the wrong, then just get right. <laughs> okay, but you know sometimes we have to face we have to face it and realize it. And if you don't, you try to ignore it and 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 never want to face your wrongs. Then of course you're gonna go through so much more struggles in life. But someone here could um, be sabotaging their own life by trying to hinder someone else, whether this is you or this person. Show us a message for Virgo spirit. What else do you want Virgo to know at this time? What else do they need to know, spirit? Please show us. Let's help Virgo out in this situation. Show us more for Virgo. What else, spirit? What else? I'm also getting like someone could receive a message. This message of concern could be like, oh, this person is actually receiving abundance. They're doing fine. They're doing okay. And the person that was trying to sabotage them is not working. It's not helping. Whatever they were doing is not doing it because this person is in receiving this is, is meant. They're meant to receive this abundance. So whether this is you or this person, okay? So if you're the one that's not in the wrong, you're not, you're focusing on yourself, on your self-worth, on your life, on your healing, then this person could be concerned because they're like, wait a minute, how, why? Because they were addicted to sabotaging you. Spirit is like, if you don't put a hammer and a nail on that and leave that alone so you can grow, or you just going to be hammered, you're going to be... <laughs> It's like someone trying to bring you down, and each time they try to bring you down, they go lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So hey, they're just self-sabotaging them. Yeah, they're self they're self-sabotaging. Okay, <laughs> they're definitely sabotaging themselves. Show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. Whoa, we have two that came out. In reverse okay it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with um a Sagittarius a Leo or um a Aries says a strong Sagittarius energy here though um or it could be a Gemini but anyways it looked like whatever this betrayal is is over it's like someone can't hurt them or hurt you it's like someone cannot do this anymore it was this it was the utmost the last straw was the last straw okay that was it Spirit had to put a hammer and a nail on it. And they're trying to wake someone else up to do this. Like, hey, you can't keep doing this. You cannot keep doing this. Okay, Virgo. So, I'm sorry. I had to take a quick break. But, um, so it looked like here, 
This is about over with. This is done. Okay, it's done. It's done. Something is stopped. It's done. It's a kill deal. A kill deal. All right now. <laughs> Never said it like that, but okay. Only for you, Virgo. Um, what else, Spirit? I seen the world too. So yeah, it's a complete ending here. So whatever this is, it's a sealed deal. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, with this hammer and a nail coming out in this energy. All right, show us more. Show us more. So whoever this false person is, they can't be false towards you anymore. They can't harm you. They can't do anything to you, okay? That's just what it is, okay? If you're a masculine, it could be this feminine. If it's a feminine, it could be a masculine. I definitely feel like the opposite sex here. Show us more on this energy for Virgo spirit. I mean, it could be the same sex, too. Show us more on this energy for Virgo. Virgo, we have the Temperance and the Three of Swords. So it may take time to heal from this situation, but you will. You will heal. Show us more. It's like, yeah, someone was definitely trying to bring you down, hurt you, betray you, cause nothing but endings for you, for your happiness, for your finances, your career, everything, your love life, okay? Could have been a Gemini. Um, show us more with the lovers. Why did this even come out? We're going to just set that over there. But I want to see more on this uh, Knight of Wands spirit. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse? Show us more on this energy. The Knight of Wands in reverse is clarified with the Six of Wands in reverse. So whatever this person is stopped, whatever was done is being returned to sender. That's what this is. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, it's like stop whatever you're doing, whatever, because this person is fast, right? The Knight, the Knight of Wands is the fastest knight out of the deck, right? Um, well, actually, no, the Knight of Swords, but this is you they neck to neck for sure. But they're very fast, right? But with it being in reverse, it's saying stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Whatever this is, it's being stopped. Okay? And then with the Six of Swords in reverse, whatever this person was trying to do to you, that's why they're receiving this message of concern because whatever it is, is coming right back because they shouldn't have did this to you or you shouldn't have did this to this person. It's definitely like an innocent bystander here and someone was trying to sabotage this person. Show us more with the Ten of Swords in reverse spirit. It could have been a Sagittarius. Show us more with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords clarified with the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this was a false soulmate. Okay, I'm getting it. So some of you, this is someone that you are dating. You are in a connection with, a relationship with. It was false. It wasn't real. It wasn't the real deal. This is why you had to go through this so you can see, so your eyes can open up to see. Oh, wow. Like I was saying, like someone was someone was watching while someone was talking. Okay, so wait. So the one that was talking is the one that was trying to keep you blinded to what this is, but you're actually seeing something and keeping something quiet. Or this is how or this person was doing. I don't know. It's like someone seeing something coming. But was keeping it to themselves, realizing that, okay, so maybe this person figured out who was the false person, which is which is uh, the person that they were dating or you you were dating, okay? Um, but yeah, it's a false soulmate or this is what someone was trying to do, like try to open your eyes in a connection, like that's not your person. Or you were trying to do this to this person and it could have caused some type of betrayal because it had like, I don't know, I'm getting, wow, y'all. That's really messed up too, but I get it, but it's still messed up. Like a person just got to see you on their own terms. Like someone could have been trying to forcefully see, get someone to see like, man, you're not with the right person. This person is false. You know, they're, they're pretending to be this person that you, you know, that you're desiring and you, and, and this person, okay. So say for instance, you was in a connection. And you were in a connection with someone that you may have desire or you thought, you know, you were desiring this person, but it was all a fantasy. And this person was living up to your fantasy because they were being false. They was mimicking what you like, what you what you um, want. Right. And they were living up to that. But then, you know, the mask start falling. But the mask could have start falling because. An uh, outsider, uh, another individual could have been trying to wake you up, but it could have caused some betrayal to wake you up to realize this, like forcefully cause your relationship to break or like I'm getting like uh, 
Wow, yeah, I'm getting so many messages here. I don't know what y'all got going on, but it's a lot here. And then, and then take it however it resonates for you. But I'm getting like, say, for instance, a friend, a homie or whatever, like, hey, um, and they could be single or they could be in a relationship, but they just, that's how they do. They may be in a in a um, polygamy, you know, that's the thing nowadays for a lot of people. Hey, float your boat. However it is for your situation, that's what you choose. No judgment here with your situation. That's if you're all in agreement with it. But I'm getting like someone who is more flamboyant um, with, when it comes to um, their connection. I mean, like dealing with other people or whatever. So maybe this person, or they was just a straight up cheater, okay? And they was trying to get your person to cheat too, because but they it's crazy because they was trying to do it to help you, but in a real messed up way, like trying to get this person to cheat so you can not want to be with them, and that's how it all start to, you know, crumble. So you can start opening your eyes. So that could be in a situation, or this is what you are doing to someone, okay? But it's like, um, it, it did help. It woke someone up and real, made someone realize, okay, this is not it. This is not my person. Someone is realizing we're not real soulmates. This is not a real connection. My soulmate would never hurt me, betray me, or lie on me, or make me look bad to others. Like, this is what betrayal is, right? But all this is over with because this person can no longer betray you anymore. No one is even listening to this person or looking at this person in the same way, in the same light anymore. It's like everyone is, is basically what they were trying to do to you is happening to them. Like, the betrayal is coming on them with the six of swords in reverse whatever they were trying to do is stopped and that betrayal is coming back on them and others is looking at them as disgusting like how could you why would you do that you know so if this was a relationship a connection that you are in it's really messed up but people do this you know try to degrade you and make you look bad to others where that's not even a truth you know and you could have been just quiet in this situation just watching the whole situation play out and realizing how shady someone is and this could be why you're like nah you're not my soulmate you're not the person because if you were my person you would never do that even if we weren't in the same light if we okay say for instance okay we fall out and things is not you know working for me and you I'm not about to go to others and try to make you look bad purposely by spreading lies and trying to bring your character down this is what someone did to you or virgo you could be in an energy of this happening to someone and maybe your uh, your eyes is waking up your eyes is opening up to the real other situation and normally the person that's more quiet in a situation is the person that that is the innocent one out of it because they're not voicing themselves out of the situation. The person that's talking, oh, that person did this or they did that. And it's just in all you can, and at first you could believe it or this person or the people believe all this nonsense because the person was quiet. They weren't talking. They were quiet. They were silenced. So they're like, oh, well, if they're not talking, then it got to be true. <laughs> it's like, well, so now people are realizing this about you or about this person. And it took time with the patient, with this, uh, with the patience, with this um, temperance here. Show us more with the temperance. Someone is very balanced. Yeah, it took time for the secrets to come out, but the secrets have been revealed. The moon in reverse. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces um, in a situation. Show us more with the Three of Swords. Strong Cancer energy, Queen of Cups. All right, three of swords or Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Feminine energy, someone who is very intuitive, nurturing, a, re a really great mother as well. That's another thing. Like this person could have tried to make you look like you are a, sh a messed up mother, that you are careless, that you are possibly even trying to make it seem like you are out here just dealing with other parties and just sexual, highly sexual. And that's not even the case. That's not even the case. This person, whoever this is, was trying to degrade you make you look less than but spirit said no you don't even have to speak don't even voice yourself because truth always comes to light whether it takes a day or years it will always prevail so someone here silenced themselves and said i'm not about to try to defend myself towards nonsense or whatever this person say that he say she say crap i'm gonna just live my life and continue to grow 
continue to heal because whoever this is is healing outside of this situation because you had to you had to move out of the situation in order to heal and it's still some healing here someone is not completely healed all this betrayal hell no no there's no way you're gonna heal that quick it's gonna take time but it, it was a lot of progress it's, it has been a lot of progress for someone here but you still need to continue don't give up on this but let's get more on the lovers why is the lovers here Show us more with the lovers for Virgo. The lovers. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Four of Wands wanted to come out in reverse. So whoever this is could be could be um could, could have been someone that you shared a home with, a marriage with. Um the world is here, it's the ending. But it's crazy because someone it could be still so it is this is crazy. Because it could have been a situation, someone could have been obsessed with the lover, with the lover that they were with, but the lover possibly fleed themselves from the situation. So the other lover tried to betray them by speaking negatively on them because they didn't want to deal with them again. So they wanted to bad mouth you or this person. But it's like at the same time, they're, steady, they're actually t still in love with them, but could be pretend pretending like they're not. But all is being revealed here. The truth is being revealed in your situation. So this person is possibly still in love with you or still in love with this person. Y'all dealing with a water sign because it's all up in here. Yeah, this is a mother figure, the empress. So this feminine energy. Someone is still in love with this mother. The person that they said, oh, they were they were not a good person. They were this or that. The empress and the emperor. Oh, wow. This could be a... Uh, a divine oh justice is being served wait a minute y'all see wait a minute it could have been a betrayal in a connection I, I kept picking a third party so this per third party could have caused an end into uh, a, a divine connection and caused this person to even bad mouth them talk negatively on them it was that was the a part of the betrayal it was to get the other person to see like the other person is not for them, not, not, yeah, but something that this is all being returned to whoever tried to cause this plan, this plot, this, this, uh, whatever this is, 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 is being turned around here. Justice is being served to this empress and emperor. Someone could be going into union with a Gemini or, um, their divine counterpart. Okay. Or Aries, or a Taurus, or a Libra. Someone could have these placements, high placements too, like either the rising or moon. I'm actually getting not even so much of the sun sign here with the placements. If someone could have either a Libra moon, a Aries rising, or a Aries moon, and and um, or a Libra rising, okay. Um, someone could have Gemini moon or gemini venus i'm not getting so much of venus though it could be venus um but either way i feel like someone um yeah whatever this battle is wow it's like someone came against a really spiritual divine connection here and it's being is being righted yeah because it's this was supposed to be so this was like a test of a connection that's supposed to be but it was a, ma a major betrayal here that caused this to to end oh i'm also getting like wow yeah someone is left in the five of cups because they chose wrong they were with the divine counterpart in the beginning, this this spiritual being, or you are the spiritual being. But either way, it was a divine connection here, and someone chose wrong. And now they're and not only chose wrong, but bad mouth this person, talk negatively on you, um, try to like they really sabotage you, sabotage their character, sabotage. Someone was addicted to bringing someone down. This is what this message is about. But now they're realizing, damn, I moved too fast, I moved too quickly, and and they stay committed to doing this. And it just brought them to this, five of cups, sadness and regret, feeling guilty for what they did. 
They feel guilty for sabotaging a connection that could have been forever. Or this could have been a person, the third party, that feel guilty for sabotaging this union that could have been very precious to the world. <laughs> Not just to each other, but to the world. It could have been through magic. Someone could have, you know, start working their strings through magic and now they're going broke or poor or feeling left out because of all what they have done and blocked. Now they can't see straight, okay? Someone could have had the vision of seeing and now it's taken away because they were using it in an improper way. They were abusing their power with this magician. Spirit said, no, I have to take that away, Father Pentacles. And leave you blinded now. You can't see now. You can't see because you did wrong. That was not right what you did. So we must take it away. So someone here is about to go through it. Or they're going through it. Mm. Let's get a final um, message here for you, Virgo. With the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Show us more on this energy. Dang, this messed up. This was this could have been a real, but you know what? Just because this Empress and Emperor, like that was a really strong connection. It was supposed to be, it was divine. But when the other person don't wake up and realize that and they get taken away, that person who was in a right will still come into a divine connection with that power person. So there's still going to be a union. They're still going to come into a union where it's highly spiritual and divine. It's just another person. Like spirit is like, no, okay, since you didn't get it this lifetime, we're going to pair them up with the, next, the other suitor. And uh, let's see how this works. So this is what could be happening here. It's like someone messed up, sabotage a connection. That could have been everything. That could have been great. It's like they they allow someone to get in their energy or get in their mind. All right, here and now. All right, so I feel like with this, someone could be age 32 as well. But the here and now is like, okay, Recognize your past, recognize what has happened, and then come into the future, come into uh, the, or come into the now, the reality of things, okay? Come into the now, now what? Now what? Okay? Yeah, that has happened. There's an end in here. Transformation has happened into this connection or to this, to your life because of all this betrayal, okay? You could be coming into union with your real divine counterpart after this false union, or if it wasn't so false, this person possibly perceived it as false and treated you like crap and didn't realize how much you are worth to them until after the fact. But either way, the here and now is like, okay, you're here and let's focus on the now. What else, spirit? Um, the number five could be significant for someone. We have fork in the road, okay? So I feel like for some of you, it's like a stuck energy. Can't, could feel a little stagnant here. Not sure of which way to go, the direction to go. And that's why spirit is helping you with, okay, here and now, the present is more of your focus. Not the past. Let's focus on the now, okay? That's where your fork in the road is coming. So you need to realize that you just have to let go of the past in order to welcome in a new, in order to move forward, in order to uh, embrace these new uh, opportunities, these new directions that's that's headed for you, or they're calling you. But it's like you're you're causing a stagnation to yourself because you're so stuck on what has happened. So come out of that. Yeah, you need to come out of that because it's just causing you to. It's just causing delays for your journey. It's like, okay, yeah, the betrayal is over now. It stopped. It's a return to whoever this person was that was trying to do this to you. Okay, they're suffering now. Now what? What's next? Now, for some of you, it could be you that's going through this suffering because of what you have done. Please place it however it belongs to you. All right, but that is it, you guys. I hope you received some type of clarity, understanding to this message, if this is at all your message this week. Um, if not, definitely look into your other signs, whether this is or not, because there is always another message in your moon, your rising, or Venus, okay? Even your north node, check into that if you are following your north node. I will hope so by this time, all right? But um, that is it, Virgo.
many blessings to you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, so you can get notification and definitely click on the bell so you can get notifications for the next um, message that I provide. All right. All right. And until next time, many blessings. Hey Capricorn, thank you for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Capricorn Spirit, please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. Thank you. All right. Let's see, Capricorn Spirit, please show us a message. All right, Capricorn, we have distant horizon. Someone could be traveling or thinking about traveling. Um, it could be some form of, huh, something is, something out of distant here. Maybe someone is wanting to come towards you. They could be distant from you or you could be distant. Yeah, I feel like a lover. Distant lover. All right, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it's like someone is across the globe But they can't get to you at the time It's like spirit could be leaving this The way it is Because someone needs to grow more Whether this is you or this person I'm also getting like an immature masculine energy here Like the way they handle things in love Or like someone who has temper tantrums Who... Blow things out of proportion here, okay? This could be a lover of yours. Um, this could be why things are stagnant between you and them because it's some things that they need to address within their character, within themselves, before things can take off. But it does look like in a distance that this will take off. But just be informed that it's, um, we're going to see more on this energy to see hopefully some changes come about this situation. Um, we have a child here Someone's birthday could be on the 18th Maybe you're the child Maybe this is a parent Maybe this is um, You and a lover And this is your child Okay Or something about a child Maybe you and this person have discussed having a child um, Or you have had a child It could possibly be a girl Alright but let's see more On your energy Also, someone's um, birthday could be on the 5th, the 15th, also the 18th. Someone could be age 36 or the number 9 or the number 6 could be significant for someone. 9-9. Um, nine, nine. Someone, maybe someone's child is born in 99 um, or you could be born in 99. Um, someone's birthday also could be in May, May 15th. So that is what Taurus energy um, May 18th, that's Taurus energy as well. Um, or those dates could be significant for you. Something about May 15th and May 18th, okay? That may have passed, recent past, or this could be coming up, okay? But, I mean, I could, it's going to be a year from now, right? <laughs> but it's going to be it's something about those dates, you will know. Show us a message. Four. Capricorn. Someone dealing with a Gemini. Because it wants to say, like, show, show us a message for a Gemini. Show us a message for a Capricorn. Maybe some of you have those placements. All right, talking. All right, so maybe just someone in your energy is a Gemini that you're talking to. This don't necessarily have to be a romantic lover. This could be just someone that you love. So this could be a relative, a friend, or whatnot. But there's some talking going on, some conversing. You and someone could be conversing more or someone is interested in talking more with you. Um, someone could be waiting on your message, waiting on your call, your text. Someone is wanting to email you or yeah, or, or just send you a text or something, okay? Talking, someone is wanting more communication or this is what's happening. Show us more for Capricorn. We have Cupid's arrow in reverse, okay? So we have half faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like there's some hesitation, some type of uh, stagnation due to a love situation. 
Okay, and that's what's going on. But talking more, maybe spirit is trying to get you and this person to talk more. So, you know, things can, so while things are changing or this person needs to uh, experience some type of change within themselves, I mean, this could be you, okay? You could be the masculine here. Um, but it could be a feminine that have masculine energy. It's someone just needs to grow, okay? It's still some growing that someone needs to do in order to come into the right kind of love. Because you, it's like they're trying to pair you up with the right person. So you don't have to keep going through the struggles, the pain, you know, the heartbreak. It's like, okay, if you're really ready, then do the work. If you're not ready, then, okay, we could, you could go ahead and get aligned with someone else. And then go through the same old cycle again and again. But if you do the work and, you know, continue to work on yourself, heal, and, 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 and realize certain things that you, you are lacking, certain things that you need to change, certain things that you need to heal within self, then, you know, we could go ahead and move on to the next phase. But um, there's definitely a situation in love that's put on pause. Let's get one more for Capricorn. Thank you. All right, we have the phoenix in reverse. New phase, rekindle, new, renew, transformation, growth, mind, change, mind. That's in reverse. It's like someone is stubborn to change here. That's what I'm getting. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. It's like someone is sad that there is a separation between you two or you are sad about this, and but no one is making a change about this. All right, it's like someone is wanting to talk more, wanting to um, get on that page, but it's not happening because someone is not doing the work. So spirit not allowing this to come back together or to heal because someone is not ready. That's what this is about. Someone is not ready. All right, let's see more spirit. Show us more for Capricorn. In this energy spirit, show us more for Capricorn. 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 Maybe you're feeling like the person that you you say for instance you're in a connection here. Because we had the lovers with the mature men in reverse. So whoever this I feel like maybe someone felt like they're not, I mean, they're with someone that's immature and still like doing oh the things that you used to do. You may have changed and evolved to a different phase in your life where this person is in the set, the old you phase and you're like eh, this is just not working but I'm trying to make it work but it's not working because of that so it could be a separation that's coming up and someone could be sad about this it's like someone want to talk more get on the same page but it's just something is just not happening I don't know I'm getting two separate situations here so for some of you, this could be a lover situation, okay? So so actually three situ situations here. So I'm getting a situation. Say for instance, you're in a you're in a connection. Your connection could be like eh, iffy, okay? Where you feel like it's not really all that great, but the 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 sexual chemistry could be great or whatnot. But it's like you're you and this person not seeing eye to eye on what you envision in life, okay? So like maybe some things was great, like okay, the chemistry was great. But then as you evolve and try to grow forward with each other, it's like some, some things you're like, uh, I don't know. Like, because this person could be in an old phase of you and you're trying to go to the next phase in your life and you're just on two different levels right now. So that could be the situation, the issue here. And that's why Spirit is saying, okay, maybe you need to converse. You need to talk more. Um, you need to express how you feel. They need to express how they how they feel. But with this Cupid's arrow in reverse, this is like, this is not what you desire, okay? This The Cupid's arrow, half a love is coming, surprise, invitation, or immediate hesitation. This is like Cupid's arrow in reverse. Like, maybe this happened, and now you realize that this is not really what I want. So I'll speak it to those who are possibly in a connection or rekindled with a lover, all right? Especially with the uh, Phoenix in a reverse. This is exactly what I'm expressing here. With a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. It's in reverse. So it's like this new phase. You can't get to the ne new phase, the next phase that you're trying to go to because this person is still stuck on the old phase. So the phase that you're at, it's like, okay, what do I do now? Okay. So it's distant. It's not for you to know exactly how this is going to play out right now. 
Um, that's one situation, but separation could be the outcome of this situation because it's just, you know, it, it's run its course. Like it, whether it was a month, two months, two years, three years, 30 years, however, but something is running its course. Now, for some of you, it can change. Like maybe the separation, bring this back together where you see eye to eye and this person is ready for growth or they're changing. But I am seeing a mature person in reverse, okay? So this person could, there's still some immaturity. They still need to grow. And someone could be stagnant, stuck in their old old phase, their old life. They're stuck in the south node. They need to come forward to the north node, right? But someone is not wanting to embrace that north node right now. Um, so then I'm getting another situation where you and someone could be apart, and you're apart because spirit is not allowing us to come together because of you or this person needs to do some growth, some some soul searching, do some healing and and realize this journey of yours, realize this, uh, realize the changes that you need to make as well. Because this changed mind is in reverse. It's like someone is not wanting to change their mind. Someone is not wanting to change. Someone is not wanting to grow. So that could be the hindrance in this coming together. So spirit is not allowing this together. So you're still in separation. Okay. Um, it was another situation that I picked up. But that's one. And that was a, so that's two situations. And then, yeah, we're going to leave it there. If it come back to me, it will. So let's see more for you, Capricorn. 110. So someone's birthday. That's funny. January 10th. Because I'm, I'm speaking of Capricorn. That's your energy. All right. So 110 on the clock. Show us a message for Capricorn. I actually see 11010. <laughs> All, right. All right, Capricorn. Please show us a message for Capricorn Spirit. Show us more on this energy. What else do you want Capricorn to know? What else do they need to know? Please help Capricorn spirit. All right. Queen of Swords, communication. You need to talk. Talk things out. Work things out with communication. Yeah, a message. A weighted message, but it's blocked. Okay, see? This is what's going on. It's like someone needs to speak up, but yet they're holding back. Someone have a lot to say, but they're not saying nothing. <laughs> like, what the heck? Spirit is like, if you don't speak up, express yourself. Express yourself. Okay, either this is you or this person needs to do this. But it's like someone is thinking so much about a message, what they should say, how they should say it. So since they don't know exactly what to say, how to, okay, I'm just not going to say it. Now, some some of you, this could be this person that's reaching out to you and you already have them blocked. Or it's something that you want to say to this person, but they're you're blocked from them. One or the other, okay? It's blocked communication, but someone wants communication to open up. Let's get more. I said no. Okay, dick. Show us more on this energy with the Queen of Swords spirit. Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. 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 All right, Capricorn, you have... Okay, so the Queen of Swords is coming out with the King of Wands. All right, so you two strong individuals here. Maybe you're both, uh, you're both, what, 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 spirit? <laughs> Slow down, roll it back. All right, so maybe you both are very strong individuals and very strong-minded and or just very opinionated where, you know, it's, it's like my way or no way. That's what I'm really getting. Like, no, I said this, but no, I said this. So it's hard to, you know, it's, it's kind of like bumping heads. You and this person could bump heads because you are strong-minded. You're just a strong-minded individual. And this person is is trying to be this king, but you're you're trying to be the, the king as well. You get me? You get me? So this is where, it's, you know, you're bumping heads. So or you're the king here and you feel like this queen is being so much of a king too. too. It's like, OK, how can I play my part if you're playing my part, too? <laughs> so I am getting this. I do get it. So this or this could be just how they feel, Capricorn. You're like, wait, but I'm I let them, you know, be the lead. But 
you know, I'm a voice myself, but I'm not trying to step on the, on their toes. But this is how this person feel. Maybe because this person is so so used to being in charge, used to being the leader, used to being the one to who, who people look up to and and come to for for some type of help or like this is the savior here. And this person feel like you're crossing your boundaries with this or this is what has happened. All right, so two vocal, very vocal people here. Let's get more on the page of wands. Very expressive. Show us more with the page of wands. Page of wands is clarified with the sun. So yeah, I feel like someone is trying to figure out like how to bring healing to this connection, how to bring the healing um, to communicating with you again, okay? It could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. Show us more with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords for Capricorn. Two of Swords. Two of Swords clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. This, okay. So a change will be happening here. I did see the Wheel of Fortune. It's destined to even play out this way. Okay. This, I guess, you know, this is this is bringing someone into realization of themselves. Okay. Helping someone realize hey, maybe I do need to fall back a little bit. Or maybe, you know, I need to think before I speak, okay? Maybe certain things that I say could come off as harsh. I mean it, but it's the way I said it, okay? So that could be what's going on as well. Spirit is trying to get someone to understand the way you voice yourself could be differently or the way this person voices themselves could be differently. Um, I don't know. It's like it's just it just seemed like a very... Um, we have like really combative energy, but at the same time, it's like you want to bring some healing and peace to the situation, or this is what spirit wants you to do. Um, whoever this is, you have known for a very long time. This could have been an on and off situation for some years, possibly seven years, seven years to seven months or something like that. But it do seem like there will be healing in this, con in this connection, whether this is a lover, a friend. Yeah, it could be a Virgo, but it, it, yeah, it could be like it was silence. It was silence, but it's. I feel like someone is breaking free from this silence or breaking free from um, not speaking. But like, what the hell? It's like on and off again situation. Like, okay, I'm break free. I want to speak up. Okay, so this is this person thinking about what they're going to say. Oh, but then realize, okay, I'm blocked. Okay, so they, the message is not coming through or you're not responding. Because the page of wands is in reverse. It's like someone is not responding. So for someone, someone may feel like they're blocked, but they're really not blocked. It's like someone is gaining clarity that, oh, I'm not blocked. Maybe someone just changed the number or changed their... Something like that is coming to light for someone as well. And it could be a Leo child or Leo placement. You could have a Leo uh, placement or someone have a Leo son. It could be a child. Show us more. Hmm. With the hermit in reverse, show us more with the hermit or in reverse. It don't have, it maybe, it don't have to be a child. Yeah, whatever this is, someone was holding on to, it, someone is releasing this, okay? Or needing, this is what you need to do. You need to release this or release this Virgo. Queen of Swords. It's like someone is, I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. You could be in a Queen of Swords energy. Coming out very strong, very vocal, very expressive of how you feel, what you're going to do and what you're not going to do, who you're going to cut off and what you need to call off. Like you just being very, very strong with, with, with what you, how you feel about this person, these people. I don't know. It just seemed like the cutoff game is here. Okay. But spirit is like, um. Something needs to be healed. Maybe this is pertaining to a child. Or maybe so whoever this is was being childish. It could be you that was being childish. And you need to come to realization about this as well. Or this person do. Okay. But there's some clarity that's being brought into this situation. Like someone's seeing something differently. Or they're now looking at something differently. We have the Empress in reverse. A mother figure. This could be a mother for, for wands. Home. Some type of okay, so this could be a marriage, a broken up marriage, a connection here between you and someone. Maybe, maybe you and this mother isn't getting along, or you could be the mother, and maybe you and a child not getting along, or this could be a situation where 
where you're the mother of this person child okay and then someone is deciding to release themselves from you or you're releasing yourself from this person either way there's a foundation that's that's not it's not solid okay the lovers in reverse someone is releasing the lover um, releasing the marriage, releasing the home, or maybe the idea of having a connection together or a home together. Someone either, someone is, if, if you was wondering, like, maybe you are deciding to give in to this connection more or long term, look at this long term because of a pregnancy, but this person could have found out this person is not pregnant. You could be finding out the news about that. If you're a male or this could be you as a female, you finding out that you're not pregnant. You don't have to go forward with this person or this connection, but you do need to heal some type of communication with someone. Healing communication is the main key to this whole entire message. Healing communication, a uh, connection or whatever, not, not necessarily a love coming back together. I'm not seeing that here. This is not that reading. So if you're looking for that, your love interest coming back to you, this is not it. This is not it, okay? That may be in another message. This this message spirit wanted someone to get. So it's something about communication. I feel like there's, it's, it's like rectify. I'm getting like rectify what this was. Like something about communication that was, um, it's like someone received something differently. And now that clarity is coming in. And now that someone received this clarity, now what? Now what are you going to do with it? Are you going to speak up? Are you going to make a change? Or is this person, it could be this person that needs to speak up and make a change due to the clarity that they received about you. Okay. Yeah, reconciliation to a sword, six of swords, the high priestess. Yeah, it could be like, yeah, five of wands and the justice and the emperor. This could be like a family matter, family situation, but it's like healing. It needs like reconciliation needs to come through, but it's like someone is too stubborn to the fact and something is moving away or moving on. Someone intuitively know that someone is just too combative and not trying, not trying to rectify or fix this. So someone is moving away from this, but it looked like it's one individual that needs to be more vocal or speak up. This, if, the, if you could be in this energy as the queen of swords, I feel like Capricorn, this is you at this time. Also, I'm getting like, someone need to check their vision. I just got, um, someone could be seeing like spots um, or like flying things. Like you need to get your vision checked, okay? Thank you, spirit. All right, let's uh, wrap this up. Yeah, some of you, if this was a lover, it's like they're saying like, you know, men things for the sake of a child or men things just to bring peace to your life, okay? So you don't have to have an enemy on your list. Just, you know, score things out, whatever this is, let it go, let it fly, okay? If this is an ex-lover, like, don't leave it on bad terms. That's what I'm getting here. Like, if the connection is over with, let it be over with, but not on bad terms. If you're not, if you don't want to deal with this person, especially if this is like either an ex or a family member, if you don't want to deal with this person, then, hey, you could say that and like, but you don't have to like leave it off on bad terms because that's how you, that's how you uh, bring in new enemies. All right. Someone that's against you because of the way you treated them, then now they want to, you know, treat you boldly or whatever. So something needs to be rectified in this energy. It's like, right your wrongs, fix this with communication. This is what this is all about. Talking, conversing more, okay? A waiting message arrives, arrives, text, call, email. So one of, the, one of the other needs to go through in order to rectify this. Stop being immature or this person needs to stop being immature in this situation, okay? It's like, I'm just going to silence you. I'm not going to talk to you. That's immature. Like, how are you going to... Just, sil okay, yeah, someone do you wrong, do you dirty, it is, look, I can't deal with you because you betrayed me, boom, I'm just going to end it as, the, as, as that, you have a great life, but it's like, someone is just like, I'm not talking to you, <laughs> like, what, <laughs> okay, be childish, because that's what someone is doing here, show us a message for Capricorn. So whether this is you or this person, it's like, oh, since it, okay. Or maybe 
because you didn't give them what they what you wanted. Okay, maybe this person you didn't give this person what they wanted. So, oh, since so you're not gonna give me what I want, then I'm not talking to you. Like what? <laughs> Childish, right? <laughs> So anyways, uh, a communication needs to be fixed. Uh, sometimes. I feel like this came out in your reading before. This could be pertaining to a mother figure or someone who's supposed to be a mother figure or someone who's older or something like that. Or this, or this could be you withdrawing your energy from a mother or a mother is withdrawing their energy from you. Or this could be a lover situation too, like I said, mother and a child. So you could be withdrawing yourself from a father a child's father or a father could be withdrawing themselves from you. So it's something like that. It's petty. But they're saying like, come on now. Like, be more flexible. Thank you. Yes, be more flexible here. It's like someone is not being flexible. Someone is definitely like being super stubborn. And it's like stupid. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're being stubborn for what? Just relax. And just, okay, if it, if it, if it turned out not so good, at least you say, oh, at least I tried. Right? But it's like, oh, it's like just, I don't know. All right, the number 10 could be significant. The number 19 could be significant. This could be it's absolutely how someone is being towards you. But Spirit is saying be more flexible so you can have this new life. Exactly. 39 could be significant. Someone could be age 39. 48 could be significant. Someone could be age 48. Someone is like, no, I'm too good. <laughs> Someone trying to act bad and bougie, but they're actually being stubborn and ugly. Like, stop. So they're saying, like, rectify this communication, fix it, because it's, it's whatever. It don't necessarily have to be like, hey, fix it. We could be the bestest friends or fix it so we could be together again. I want to be your lover. I want to be your husband. Like, no, or I want to be your wife. Like, it's not, they're not saying that. They're saying fix this communication, be more flexible, open to communication, because you may gain a clarity about the situation in a different light. So maybe, or this is something that you're going to be receiving from someone else. And it's going to bring you to, hmm, oh, I was thinking this or that. So, yeah, they're saying um, it's time to to come out of this immature behavior, whether Capricorn or this person. Be more flexible, open to communication so you can move on from this situation. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for you at this time. I hope this brought you some type of clarity to your situation. If not at all, I totally understand. Sometimes it don't. But also be real with self, right? But um, if not, this could be... Uh, this could be future-wise, okay, if not past or current. And also look into your other signs, your moon, your rising, um, Venus, also North Node, okay? Especially, I feel like your energy of here had a lot to do with your North and South Node as well. All right, you guys, many blessings to you. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. And thank you so much, all new subscribers. I'm trying to get back in the game to get more and give y'all more. Um, just work with me, bear with me. But I'll I'll definitely be back and um be more consistent. You know, I'm still going through my therapy, um, getting back together physically. But um, as soon as I can get back to a hundred, I can be able to give y'all more. You know. But thank you for sticking with me and helping my channel grow as well. Many blessings to you and until next time.